Hey guys, welcome back. Here's another video for my Westinghouse 12,000 DF. Uh, here's the shed we'll be using to store the generator when it is in use. Otherwise, our generators uh, we keep it in our garage. Uh, I have an older uh, lifetime shed that we got from Costco several years back. Uh, the model number on it is a 60170. Uh, the dimensions for this one is 71 inches in length, 38 inches in width, front to back. Uh, the height of it starts at 47 inches in the front, tapers up to about 48 and a half in the back. So this shed uh, gives you roughly about 75 cubic feet of storage. More than enough storage space for this generator. Uh, there's roughly 19 inches on either side still available for for exhaust and fumes and whatnot and then from the back wall to the generator is about eight inches and then there's another about eight inches from this front panel to the two doors and this is your your typical two door with the uh, lift lid with the struts on it uh, i'm gonna hook up the propane to it so i can give you a demo on what it sounds like uh as it sits so far with the shed as it is i'll be right back okay folks i got the propane hooked up to the generator now uh, so we're roughly about oh six feet away from the generator the decibel level with the doors wide open as it stands right now It's about 92 decibels. So here you go. Here's a quick demo what it sounds like Okay, there you have it. So let's get started on the conversion. Okay, the shed is conversion is pretty much complete, with the exception of the two doors. I still need to order a couple extra pieces of insulation. Here are the, some of the items that I use for my shed conversion. First off, we'll start with the horse stall mat that I picked up from Tractor Supply. Simple, three foot by four foot by half inch thick. That'll help with vibration, I think, as well as movement of the generator. Then, also have a 14 by 14 return air vent that I ordered off Amazon. Then I went to Home Depot and picked up some pieces to make my own custom fit uh, bug screen for it. And then insulation wise, I went with a mineral wool type. Uh, this one I believe is either inch and a half or two inch thick that I picked up from Granger. Uh, local Home Depot and Lowe's didn't carry it here and then on the back sides I have two like air dust collection vents that has two doors I mean that has a door that goes up and raises up and down whenever it's in use one on each side this side will be for the gas this side will be for power cord and then here's the B vent that I put in for the for the exhaust to go through and here's the fan that you see like just like a lot of the other videos on, on online okay here's a, a look at the uh, back side of the shed and here is what I was talking about and this is with it open as you can see it goes all the way through and it is a four inch diameter for this piece and then when uh, when, when it's in use I'll just feed the cord through here and that's how it will be for the gas and when, once you're done using it, all you do is just shut the little gate. That'll help keep printers out and such. So now let me go hook up the uh, generator to it so you can hear the sound difference. Be right back. Folks, here's a quick tidbit for you. When you receive your generator, do not destroy your box. Uh, I use this box as a cover for my generator when it's not in use. In fact, you don't even need to uh, cut off the tape. The whole box lifts right off the pallet and what all I had to do was just make two cuts for the for the box to fit over the uh, wheel axle. And it keeps the generator a lot cleaner whenever it's not in use. Because for me, I keep it in my garage. I don't keep it out in the shed for it. So now back to your regularly scheduled program. Okay, folks, here's the generator in the shed. I'm going to show you how much space is available on each side of it, as well as the back side of the generator. So here you are. I believe there's 19 to 21 there somewhere around that neighborhood more than enough here on this side as well so i'll have a metal pipe 
the hook up there to for the exhaust there and then we go around the back side of it and you see there's quite a bit of space there so that's more than enough room for heat and there you have it I hope this helps okay folks here's the video of the generator in the shed running I'm about probably six feet away and when I reported the decibel level I believe it was running right at about 75 decibels so I hope this all helped for you if you have any questions hit me up